welcome to the designing portion of the pop-up card shaped with the heart image. If you haven't watched the first tutorial, that's really important, you need to go watch that first. So pause this, open another tab with the link in the description below, and then come back. Now that you're back, let's get started. We're gonna do our font first for our saying. What I'm gonna use is the Be My font because it's the writing style and I want it to look like I handwritten it, even though I will be flattening it and printing it, I wanted that handwritten look. The theme for this card or the saying that I will be using is I never could have imagined that a simple greeting would give me the greatest love. Now a lot of times when I do my phrases inside the card, I like to center them. And originally I was going to put the the in the middle of the greatest and would give me. So what I did to make that look better is I clicked alignment next to line space and clicked center like you would in a Word document. Once I placed it at the top though, I realized in one of my testers, what I like to do a lot is attach it, print it, cut it, and see what it would look like. And I realized after one of my tests that you couldn't see greatest behind the image and I wanted to be able to see that. So I moved the greatest up. Now that it's where I wanna be, I like highlight would give me the greatest and the card align center horizontally. Now highlight the whole thing, click attach. This will make it so that we can have it all in one piece. Eventually, I'm gonna go back and flatten that. Right now, I'm gonna work on the outside portion of the card, which needs to be five by eight with a score line in the middle. This is the part I always struggle with. I don't know why, but they want this, when they give you the scorecard, they always give it going north and south. When I want it to go east and west, which majority of the time, I think that's how all, how all of us want our score line, east and west, please Cricut fix that. But anyway, what I did is I made the score line five inches long, and then I highlighted the whole thing, the card and the score line, and centered it. Now attach. What I'm picturing for the front is two people being casually together, but don't look really in love yet. They're just maybe meeting for the first time. So I found this image and I'll put in the description below what the image is called, but I hate the colors. I mean, who came up with this color scheme? So to change that, I'm gonna click on ungroup and now I have all the pieces separated. Now that we have it ungrouped, I'm gonna duplicate one of the couple that has her shirt and his pants as one. Once I've got two, I'm gonna contour one taking her shirt out and contour the other one by removing his full body image. The reason why I'm doing that is so I can make her shirt pink and his pants brown. I think this will give it a different variety of color that will be more interesting and give it more of a pop. Now this is where things get complicated. You need to regroup it, which means that now everything is in its place you can tell where it is, you regroup it all and flatten it. Do not attach. If you attach, all your colors will disappear. You want to flatten the image. Once you flatten it, you can highlight the five by eight card with the image and attach the whole thing once you know that it is placed where you would like it to be. Now that that part has been done, we need to put the quote that I said earlier on the front using the same font. And this has to be done in like pieces because I want the first part never could have above our image that I'll put in the description below all the sizes. I just keep going till I'm happy with the size that I see and that everything looks really pretty. I realized when I did my printing test, I forgot the imagined. That's kind of important. Now we're gonna add the love. Never could have imagined that a simple greeting front side of the card is gonna be printed. And the would give me the greatest 
will also be printed, but I wanted to have a colorful background with the love and make that more elegant. Also for my signature at the bottom, I'm going to use a different font. I chose the Alexis Mattox Emma. With this, I'm going to have it be writing with a pen. I want it to look like I took the time and signed it myself fooling anyone who is given this card that I have the best handwriting in the whole wide world. I think it will be great. Now that that's all attached, I need to send this to the back and make sure that the cutting is also attached. With this font that we will be cutting, it is so important to make sure that when you go to cut it, that you have it on delicate. And I will show you what I did when I clicked make it. You're gonna have to change your settings after you print it. Once I print it, which one of the notes I'm almost forgetting is use system dialog. Don't use the crickets method. I don't know why, but it always does not print really well for me. That could totally be my printer, but I just found that going in, clicking preference, telling it to print quality at high, just made all my printings from that day four so much better. Then you click print. After it comes out of the printer, put it on your mat and click on cardstock for intricate cuts, but you will need to change those settings. Because I have found in the past, if you do it twice, like the usual delicate system wants you to, it rips. What you do is you click on browse all materials, then you scroll down to material settings. Once you click on that, you're going to go find cardstock for intricate cuts. We're going to edit. When you click on edit, you're gonna change the two times to off and the cutting level at 215. This will make it so it cuts once, but it's still delicate to your design while also getting through the paper. That's why they want you to do it twice as the setting they have won't fully cut through the paper. But if we do it that way with this pop-up card, it's gonna rip our pop-up card mechanism. So you need to change your settings to off and 215, then click save. Now that that is ready, you can cut your card with confidence that nothing will rip. Click cardstock for intricate cuts and let's start creating a beautiful card. Hello! Now that we have all our pieces cut out for our card that we have designed, we will start assembling it. We're going to start with the easiest one. The reason why I say this is the easiest one is there's only one step left to do is to fold at the score line. Now that that is complete, we're gonna move it to the side. The next part is to fold the inside of our card that has the pop-up mechanism. This one is a little more tricky, so you need to be patient, but all our measurements that we have, I have tested, they should not rip at all as long as you take your time. So the first step we're gonna do is fold this middle part. So I'm going to take this and we're going to fold it in half. Now, oops, there we go. Now we're going to fold this towards this is why you gotta take your time and see how this isn't perfectly lined up. Either you can go back in and move the score line down, but what I like to do is just make a new line. It's not a big deal. So I bring this down and I'm still make sure that it's lined up at the edge. 
The only thing we don't want to worry about is where it's going to fold in that middle. The only important thing is as long as this score line is straight, then it's okay. Ta-da! Now it should open and close. The next step I like to do is this part. We're going to find a very cute decorative paper and cut it to size. Okay, now that we know this is exactly where we need it, we're going to lay this flat again, but it's not going to mess up everything we've done. The only important thing is to make sure only your glue touches along here and in the middle. Even though I got a little bit of glue in front, it just easily rubs right off. Or you can just let it dry and it shouldn't cause any issues. That's why I really like this glue because it dries clear and it doesn't leave a sticky residue as well. Now, the hardest part I would say about this is you can't tell what our phrase is because we don't have the stuff that goes in the middle. What I like to do to keep it a little bit more organized is I like keeping the pieces on my Cricut mat. The reason why I like doing that is then I can see where each piece goes as I'm transferring it over to here. You're going to need your scraper. This is just more gentle and it makes it easier to get the pieces up. You will also need your tweezers. This just helps use the glue and not get your hands super dirty. This process is always super messy despite using the tweezers. So once you're done with this step, you might want to go wash your hands. So as you work on the other pieces, they don't stick to your fingers. The next step is we are going to glue our heart right there. And we got to make sure that his foot lines up right here because that's who I lined it up with. All over the bottom half of my people. Probably to right there is good and glue it at the bottom of our heart, right there. Now that that step is completed, we're going to make sure that only the glue goes right here. You got to be super careful. You don't want to get in those cut creases. And then you've accidentally glued your image mechanism to the back of that paper. Gonna line it right there with the foot and then glue it down. Now when I open it, it should open and close. We're going to first let it lay out to dry. That way then we know that it's secured. Also, I don't want to close the card and then all this gets stuck up here. What we're going to do next then is glue this to the back of this. That way then you have the inside of your card and the outside of the card together. Now what I like to do is leave this open for maybe an hour just in case and then I'll put it in the envelope. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this project was a lot of fun for you to do. If you have any questions, please comment in the comments down below and I will answer your questions as soon as I can. Also, if you have any suggestions on maybe how to make it easier or while you're making your card, you come up with different ways to decorate it, then you should also share that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.